Let's say um, for this assignment, you have to design this shape, but it has to be specifically dimensioned. In order to do that, you're going to be drawing with a ruler, and not just using a ruler as a straight edge, but using a ruler to actually measure. Now, the first thing you have to do is know that not all rulers are created equal. Um, most of the rulers that you're used to are like on this side. And this side, there are, uh, it's subdivided into sixteenths of an inch. You want to make sure that you're using something that's subdivided into sixteenths of an inch. You have to be careful because quite often engineering rulers are subdivided into tenths of an inch. So you need to make sure that you're using the proper size ruler for the job. So for this one, we're going to be using the side with sixteenths of an inch. Now in order to draw this, we're going to do much like we have in the past, and that's begin with an origin point. And for me, my origin point is going to be right here. And for this drawing, it goes half inch this way. So I'm going to line up my ruler on my origin point, and I'm going to draw a half inch long line, just like that. This drawing goes three-fourths of an inch up, so using this, and you don't always have to just use the one inch mark. I'm going to draw three-fourths of an inch down and three-fourths of an inch up, as it were. Then I'm going to close that shape. Now next, the drawing goes one inch in. So lining up my ruler, I'm going to take it one inch in. Now it's important to recognize that paper does not always line up with the measurements. So you can see my one inch is right there and it doesn't completely go on that grid. If we are dimensioning something and it has to be accurate, follow the measurements on your ruler and not necessarily that of the paper. Okay, so you've got it one inch, then I have a connecting line right there, just like so. So that gives us this. Now it is two and three-fourths, or 2.75 inches that way, so I am going to take my ruler, line up 2.75, draw through to the end, and that gives us that section. It goes one-fourth of an inch up, so I am going to line up my ruler and go up one-fourth of an inch. just like so. Connect my lines. Okay, and it goes one inch that way, so I'm going to follow my lines one inch. One inch, then I will close that shape. just like so. It goes that same quarter inch down. There we go. Uh, and now, let's see, it goes a half inch up before that curve. So I'm going to take this, draw a half inch up, just like so. And then, let's see, it is going to come outwards. And now I have a curve to draw. In order to draw this curve, I oftentimes like to use something that I know is round already. So for me, that's going to be this dime. Just like so, that gives me my curve. And obviously my curve isn't the same as my original drawing. This line gets extended like so. And then we connect them. And oops, that will be slightly curved right there. We have a hole in the center. This hole is Let's see, 0.75 of an inch up on the middle. 
So right here I'm going to go find the center and go 0.75 inch up. So there's a half inch, there's 0.75, and then draw my cross hatch lines. And the best I can do, I'm going to draw a half inch circle. So we need to make sure that this is dimensioned properly. So go through with your ruler and double check everything to make sure the width, depth, height, and diameters are as close as you can make them. If you have any questions, stop this video, rewind and replay as many times as you need to get the concept.